just the gauge 40 kilo hoist. So as you can see, we fit, managed to fit both chairs in at the same time. It is very tight. First things first that you need to do is we need to fold this up. As you can see, it is very tight. So just fold it up. Make sure that the slot is against the slot so that the key drops down to lock in. Let me fold it up, making sure that we lock it in into the slot. Once we've done that, we've got the handset and uh, this one will always be powered. Obviously when this is down, you won't be able to use the power on the post. There is an up and down on here, but also we have the handset. So first thing to do, just to rock the chair back onto its wheels. And then just guide the, guide the rope up, up, through, like so. And then we just power it up. Then we want to bring the back end around and the front end in, and then we can swing it out. As you can see, it's nice and tight. Just need to maneuver it a little bit. Then we need to have a firm hand, just to keep it away from the bumper. It is very tight. So just dropping it down past the bumper. Then once we're down, we can then just unhook. Nice and as you can see where it goes through, it goes underneath both arms and then under the center of the seat, just like so. Then we have the second scooter. So if we just move this one out of the way. With the second scooter, as you can see, to be able to use both, we put the second one onto the back seat. Easiest way to do it, firm hand, just to pull it back through. Once we've got it back onto the Group floor, we can then just power back up. And then we just need to connect this up to this lifting bracket. Watch the boom on the window. I like to just put a hand here just to make sure that it's not going to connect with the boot. Now we're in this position. With a firm hand, we can just guide it out. Same again with this scooter, as you can see, it's very close to the bumper in this corner. So we're just going to drop it down. As we're dropping it down, the easiest way to do it is just to push it away from the car slightly, just to keep it nice and clear of the bumper. Then once we're down, you have the option of either disconnecting on the seat belts, or we have the option of using the carabiner. So nice and simple. So then to put this back in the car, same again, we're going to power it up. But this time, firm hand here, and I'm just going to keep that away from the bumper. Once we get up to this position, we can start to turn it in. As we turn it in, we can then just guide it in. So this is, you need to keep the angle on the chair, and then just maneuver it in to the car. Again, watch in the back here, we can start to drop it down, like so. Obviously if you're only using the single scooter, as you can see you've got lots of room. So then once we've dropped it all the way down, we can disconnect on here. And again if you wanted to use both, you can now carefully, easiest way, it's coming through the side door, just lift it here, just lift it again, lift it up onto the back seat. So it sits like so. We can then bring the arm back out again, bring in the wheelchair back in the corner of the bumper. This time we're going to give ourselves quite a lot of slack here. The reason being gives us a nice easy way to loop through. So you want to come through here from the front edge. Of the, of the arm through the back and then over and click it together. Then we're just going to power it up again, just keeping it away from that bumper. And again, don't keep going because you will blow the fuse, so just make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on, too much strain on the road itself. Then here again, just put the front in first, then we're going to start to come down in there like so again once we're at this point just watch that window give yourself a reasonable amount of slack here again 
then we can magnetise that onto here. And then the easiest way is just to push this through. So it's there, laying down. And then we can bring this up, unclick, dropping this down. And then as you see, just, just give yourself a little bit more, just powering it down. And that's it there, sat in the boot. Obviously, when we've only got the single chair, you won't have this issue because you'll be able to go slightly further back. But obviously with the two chairs, you can only do it like that. Okay.